here are some interesting facts about our home planet when you face north at sunrise the sun appears on your right that is east in india the eastern part of the country sees sunrise first and the sun seems to move across the sky that too from right to left if you are facing north or simply east to west this star constellation called big dipper seem to move around over time why does this all happen why does the sun come up on your right when you face north why does east wake up before the west why do some stars circle while one stays still the answer to all this why lies in the rotation of the earth before we begin with exactly what rotation is we need to understand more about directions so what are directions or how do we look at direction see when we show direction on a flat surface like your computer screen your mobile screen or a piece of paper we usually draw them like this north at the top south at the bottom east to the right and west to the left yes north east west south when we draw it these are the four cardinal directions and everything we are about to explore sunrise sunset earth rotation will follow this same standard layout all right now the direction is sorted then let's start exploring how earth's rotation creates all those fascinating patterns we see in the sky rotation means spinning an object turns around so that all its parts move in a circle around an imaginary line called the axis of rotation this axis is like an invisible stick running right through the object as you can see here earth rotates on its own axis see the axis of rotation of the earth as you see here passes through the geographical north pole and south pole now imagine if you could float far above the north pole looking straight down at the earth how would earth appear to rotate you would see it turning in the anti clockwise direction that means opposite to direction of how a clock's hand would move this direction is termed as anti clockwise because it is opposite to the direction of movement of the clock so remember this earth spins around an invisible axis running through its north pole and south pole now how much time does it take for the earth to complete one rotation let's take a look at it see when earth is completing one complete rotation the hour hand is completing 12 hours plus 12 hours that is a total of 24 hours that means it takes 24 hours for earth to complete one full rotation in anti clockwise direction when viewed from above the north pole that's how we have one day as 24 hours okay what we have now what you see here is the globe right a simulation of earth rotating you can see the sunlight you can see the sunlight is coming from our right side as you see here and it is illuminating only half of the hemisphere right of course it will illuminate only half of the hemisphere if sunlight is coming from here it will illuminate this side and this area will be dark the yellow circle that you see here the yellow circle is the one that is separating the illuminated sphere from the rest of it see the earth right now we just saw it from the north pole right when we look at it from the north pole we can see that earth is rotating in anti clockwise direction all right and you can see certain lines around the earth here the green one is the equator and ignore the rest of the line it's ne not necessary for now as you can see right i can move this globe around and the earth keeps rotating and sun is illuminating only half of the planet more or less half of the planet the remaining half is in the dark zone this part is in the dark zone where no sunlight rays reaching there this is how day and night is formed as you can see here earth this this part is experiencing daytime and this part is experiencing the night time okay let's try to identify india yes so see india the part of india is rotating and it's going and you can see the sunlight is reaching india first on the eastern part of the region so that's why sun is rising on the eastern part of the region and is setting from the west so this is how day and night is experienced and why does this happen this happens due to the rotation of earth and if you look from the ground to us on the ground it looks like sun is moving from east to west right 
but really it is the earth that is rotating uh, that is creating the illusion of sun moving from east to west all right now let's move on to the night sky in the night sky you can see a north star right the star which is in the direction of the north and you can see a constellation here as well uh, okay before that the north star is also known as polaris and what is this constellation a constellation is a collection of uh, stars that form a pattern and the one that is forming right now is called the Big Dipper constellation all right so Big Dipper constellation is a special constellation such that it's one side as you can see here points directly towards the North Star and what is interesting because of the rotation of the earth after a few hours you can see that the Big Dipper has moved its position right around the Pole Star or the Polaris or the North Star so due to the rotation of the earth all the stars in the sky as we see from here revolve or rotate around this one star called the northern star and why does this happen this happens because the axis of rotation of the earth is directly pointed towards the north star so we all are rotating about in a way we are all rotating around the north star when you look up in the sky and this is an imaginative drawing of the of the path taken by the stars around the northern star and to summarize so the single motion earth's rotation explains so much of what we see in everyday night sky the sun's path cycle of day and night and even motion of the stars